Herman Lodge left the Supreme Court today feeling optimistic. I'm a poker player, he said, and I'm in to win. Earlier, the 53-year-old Burke County man listened as his attorneys argued it is the design of the countywide voting system that has prevented blacks, a majority of the Burke County population, from ever being elected to county office. We have asked the county for debit registrars to do this, to do what the, uh, the elect Georgia election laws said to, but they won't permit it. We've even volunteered our services free to uh, get voter registration. So this is one of the ways you can overcome fear is by taking away, by uh, uh, providing registrars who people, you know, are sympathetic to the, the people you're going to register. The court asks tough questions of both sides. County attorneys charge that the plaintiffs are attempting to use the courts to force the election of blacks. Attorney E. Freeman Leverett said that there is not and has not been voting discrimination in Burke County. You can no longer attack countywide voting simply by showing the type of socioeconomic evidence that has been utilized in the past that was predicated mainly on showing past discrimination in unrelated areas drawing inferences from that that there is present discrimination in voting when in fact the evidence is that there is not. Two previous court decisions have gone against the county. If the Supreme Court agrees, the county will be divided into a series of voting districts. The court has ruled previously in voting rights cases. In 1980 they ruled that a system could not be overturned simply because it made winning difficult for one particular group. But that ruling left unclear what constitutes a racial purpose for a certain voting system. Presumably, this Georgia case will give the court a chance for clarification. In Washington, I'm Andy Castles, Action News.